Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning update. Wow! That's the last time we're going to be saying that. I know. Senior year flew by. Well, first up, we'd like to say thank you to all of the M Blocks who sent in trivia answers last week. We we're so excited to hear from you. The NCAA winners are celebrated with the song One Shining Moment, so congrats to all of you who got it right, especially if you didn't Google it first. The first responses we got came from, drumroll please, Mr. Mitchell and Mr. Serino. You guys are the best. Well, one last time, let's, let's get, get on, on to today's, today's announcements. Attention juniors, you only have a few days left to buy your prom tickets. They'll be sold during B-Lunch through Wednesday, April 10th, and you must bring a check for $85 mail to Masconom Regional High School before then. If you are bringing a guest, you need to get the form filled out first before you buy the tickets. Guests that are from Masco but aren't juniors need to bring photo IDs to House D. Guests who are not from Masco need to get the form filled out and signed by the principals at their schools, and you need to bring a copy of the photo ID to House D. Get on this right away before it's too late, and get ready to have the best prom ever. And more for you, juniors. Don't forget that next Wednesday is your day to take the SATs. You will report to the Fieldhouse in the morning and will be given a school Chromebook when you arrive. Testing will probably conclude between 10.30 and 11.30. If you have any questions, check with the school counseling office or email Ms. Delafano. Relay for Life is still looking for cancer survivors who would be willing to be speakers at the Fight Back ceremony at Relay on June 7th. If you know anyone who is a cancer survivor, or if you are one yourself, reach out to Elena or let her know if you have any questions at all. And if you haven't signed up yet, now is the time. The overnight event is open to everyone and is an amazing experience. Use this QR code to learn more or to sign up. Hello, Masco. We're back with your weekly sports update. There are many games coming up this week. To begin, the baseball team takes on Beverly at home at 4. And the softball team also takes on Beverly at 4 in Beverly. Tomorrow, the girls lacrosse team takes on Central Catholic at 11.30. On Monday, the girls tennis team faces Gloucester at 4 at Masco. And the boys tennis team also faces Gloucester at 4, but in Gloucester. The boys baseball team play at 5 at home, and the boys lacrosse team takes on Dan. Danvers. That game is also at home and at 5. The girls lacrosse team will take on Danvers at 7. On Tuesday, the girls lacrosse team has another matchup against Manchester Essex at Manchester Essex. On Wednesday, the softball team plays at home at 4 against Salem and the girls tennis team takes on Beverly at home at 4. And the boys tennis team takes on Beverly at 4 in Beverly. The girls and boys varsity track teams are both competing against Beverly at home at 4. And the baseball team faces Saugus at 4.30 in Saugus. And finally, on Thursday, the girls lacrosse team takes on Saugus at home. Masco, come on, you guys gotta come support your athletes, so try to get to at least one game this week. everyone i hope everyone is having a great week i want to talk about the new beyonce album cowboy carter beyonce debuted in two hits from the album texas totem and 16 carriages at the super bowl this past february 11. i really like these songs Texas Hold'em debuted at number one on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart. This album has been over five years in the making. Miley Cyrus, Post Malone, Linda Martell, Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, and Rumi Carter are among the featured artists on the album. Beyonce has won 32 Grammy Awards. So get out your cowboy hats and boots and listen to this album. Listen up, everyone. It's the best time of the month. It's time to announce the first bracket winners of the Disney March Madness round of 32. Some of these were definitely a shock, so get ready for an intense reveal. First up, the one seed Lion King looks like a movie to one wants to go against and they easily took down Little Mermaid. Obviously, because Lion King is the perfect movie ever when you were a kid. 
The, sec the 16 seed versus 17 matchup was a toss-up, but late in the game, the 17 seed Toy Story 2 pulled away from the 16 seed inside out and secured their ticket in the Sweet 16. In one of the ba best matchups was the first round, Big Hero 6 survives the upside between Little Ring Stitch. This is sad for me because I love Little Ring Stitch, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine with uh, Big Hero 6 winning. Big Hero 6 gotta go on. Yeah, that's true. AC Moana stomps over Monsters University as Monsters University couldn't live up to the expectations and proves they're still inferior to the original 11 seed, Monsters Un Inc as they take down 22 seed Pirates of the Caribbean in a dogfight. Look, I, li I love Monster, but the thing is, Pirates of the Caribbean was supposed to win. It was a perfect movie. I know one seen of the both was not that good, but Perfect Caribbean is perfect. A six seed Ratatouille wipes the floor with 27 seed A Bug's Life and looks to be true contenders for the title. And in this double overtime battle, 26 seeded Beauty and the Beast may just be the Cinderella of the tournament, just barely sending home the seven seed Coco with our biggest upset of the tournament. In some more battle matchups, 5 seed Incredible beats 28 seeds Incredible 2. With no surprises there, 12 seeds up takes down 21 seeds with a pen. Nemo just keeps swimming past Cinderella and Cars races by Cars 2. And Toy Story 3 bests Bolt. In a game where many stars characters faces off Tenzin Zootopia and past 23 seeds Frozen, it seems to be a sneaky contender. I do agree they're a sneaky contender. I mean, they got the they got the movie to do it all. Absolutely. Lastly, Tangled upsets Avatar, and despite a good fight from 31 seed Wreck-It Ralph, two seed Toy Story moves on. I believe. Yeah. Toy Story is perfect. It's Toy Story. It's Toy Story. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to vote on a Google form attached to our website, Masco Media, to put your favorite Disney movies into the Elite Eight. Sam and Gabe tuning out. Thank you for listening to the Madness Recap. What? And now, a word from Miss Murphy. Warning, this next segment mentions suicide. If you or someone you know is in crisis, call or text 988 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. This year, LGBTQ plus students and their allies are marking April 12th as a National Day of No Silence. Over 800 anti-LGBTQ plus bills were introduced across the country in 2023 banning books with LGBTQ plus content, limiting the participation of trans athletes in school sports, and denying gender affirming healthcare to young people, for instance. Masco GSA invites you to join other students in rising up and taking action against this discrimination and the chilling atmosphere it creates, even in supportive schools like Masco. What can we do to make our own community more inclusive? Visit the library anytime next week to contribute to our mural of support. Stop by the GSA table during lunch to make a commitment to action. Day of No Silence also coincides with a fundraiser in memory of MASCO alumnus, Jamie Ambrosina, class of 2021. Your donation at the GSA table will get you one of these fantastic stickers so that you can show your support all year long. In past years, the Day of Silence has been a chance to reflect on what we all lose when people hide who they really are. So many of us wear masks, and not just to hide our gender or our sexuality. The person next to you who works super hard in school might think they have to earn love by hiding imperfections. Another person might laugh at mean jokes just to fit in, even if they or someone they care about is the butt of the joke. Someone else might lash out at others in order to create armor around their heart. For some, the burden of wearing the mask becomes too heavy. Sadly, that was true for Jamie. Jamie Ambrosina offered so much to his community, creating art, cultivating plants, and excelling in his course coursework at Mount Holyoke College. He had an amazing group of friends and family, and we owe it to him to build a world where every LGBTQ plus kid sees a future for themselves. For every sticker sold at lunch next week, Masco GSA will donate the proceeds to MTPC, an organization selected by Jamie's family to honor his memory. MTPC works to ensure the well-being, safety, and lived equity of all trans, non-binary, and gender expansive community members in Massachusetts, creating the world that Jamie deserved please consider buying a sticker for $2 or making a bigger donation in Jamie's name. Thank you so much. That's
That's all for us this week. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in every week, along with all of the people who help produce this show, like these fine, lovely people. And lastly, I want to thank Mrs. Side, and thank you so, so much for teaching me so much throughout these past two years. Thanks to this class, I've had so many great opportunities that I would not have had otherwise, and so thank you all so much. And I want to thank everyone who has made this class energetic and fun over the past two years. I've met some of the most creative, hardworking, and enthusiastic people through working on the Morning Update and the Masco Messenger. And I'm so grateful for everything that you guys have taught. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.